No, re re really, dude. For like, um, the only wor the only level in, in this whole game that's harmless is the first hub world. The artisan's the artisan's home world is like, this is one little pool you can fall into, and that's the one thing that can even hurt you. The enemies can't even hurt you. Beyond that point, though, like, no, none of the home worlds are harmless. They really aren't. Oh man. Hell, I'd say they're about the same difficulty as the regular levels. <laughs> Just like, the fact that I keep per world at least. What the, what the fuck is that? I wasn't um, sure it was fodder or if it was an enemy. Oh, for Christ's sake. This is bad already. So, this level, this this world's got a lot of um, areas that you just have to, like, float to, almost. Yeah. Um, this, the same deal, yep. I was about to say, yep. <laughs> Two way to kill him. <laughs> it's like, cheerio. I know, I, lo I love how they die. You just pop it oh, in. No. Fuck my mum's sake! For the sake of fucking my mom, this is bad. Welcome to Lofty Castle. <laughs> oh, this is a tedious level. I, ju I just remember what the gimmick was for this level. It's a castle at Loft. <laughs> oh, oh, I've said I almost had a, a life there. <laughs> You've got a life? No, you don't. You're doing videos on the internet. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so oh, you're still in this! What was that? So it's not like you can make a living off of that or anything. No, I know. No, I'm, I'm just taking the piss. I love how people are actually... The other people are like that. It's like, oh, it's... Well, the thing is, right, I've I've actually had this discussion. Because, like I said, I work at a school, and I know there's them, some children. You know, the thing is, nowadays, it's like, they watch YouTube, and they get they have people that they, you know, enjoy watching. And so do I. You know, like, I think we're at the age now where it's almost... So I take a free, I've got to free a lot of these guys. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Three of, three of them, yep. It's always three. I don't know why I did that. I really, I, di I pressed the guide button by a complete accident. Because I couldn't reach him. And then I say, hold down, hold down, like, no, no, no. I was like, no! S Spyro, fly! <laughs> there was no way. <laughs> but it was to no avail. Spyro died. Spyro was never to be seen again. Spyro fucking died. <laughs> and then, there's Spyro. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> and I just know those archers from the last level have rejoined you. Isn't I, that great? That's what I said earlier. I was like, fuck, these guys are back. Oh, so there's two. Oh, I need to save three of them to, um... Right. Makes sense. So yep. I can make it over there. From yeah, I think here. you gotta cl climb all the way up those other two rocks again. Yep, that's it. There you go, and then... But yeah, like I was saying, um... So like, you talk about YouTube uh, and it, um, being a job and such, like... But like, I know, there's some... The thing is, it's like, it's it's an aspiration, but it's, it's very hard, like, you have to... There is a lot of luck involved. Massive amount of luck, you pretty much have to get... Sort of, you know, you have to get the views, you have to... So maybe have a video that really kicks up from somewhere. Because like, these days... It's very hard to actually find a sort of, like, just a clique of, like, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but, like, a sort of a thing that just really kicks off, like, out of nowhere. Like, because a lot of the thing, a lot of original things have sort of been done now at this point. Yeah. Yeah, um, you, you gotta, like, have, like, a personality or a video format that, like, hasn't been done, or at least, or at least hasn't been done the way you do it. Yeah. You gotta have something new. You gotta, you gotta do it well, and you gotta upload consistently also. The, the weirdest thing about, like, being a professional YouTuber, you know, who, like, makes money off of it, the thing that's most annoying is that the entire landscape keeps constantly changing. Yeah, like, exactly. you gotta go with the times. There, 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 there was a time when, like, it was just the gaming channels were the most popular things on YouTube. It's like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, and especially PewDiePie, like, just made all the money. And then, for some reason or another, just people stopped clicking on gaming videos, and suddenly they all did make different content. Also, um... I, I think, um, something some went, wrong, went, went wrong with just basic ad revenue. Like, you can get, like, demonetized more easily, or it's not paying as much, some, something or another. So <laughs> then, yeah. now everybody who wants to make money off of YouTube now has to actually... Have paid sponsors in the video and say this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends in the middle of the video. <laughs> yeah. An ad break. The only, the only um, fucking advertisement these days. The only sponsorship. Wraith Shadow Legends. 
Mask. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, everyone like loves making jokes about that one, but really though, it's Raid Shadow Legends and it's Skillshare and the the Connie is another one I've seen an awful lot. But yeah, like it, it's YouTube is basically I think what a lot of people don't realize because mostly people who say, "Oh, you can't make a money off of be off of being an internet person," blah. I think that's like mostly like just like older people who haven't noticed that the times yeah. have changed. Definitely. YouTube is basically like almost like the new like the new TV now. Like you, like you you make this show usually with a crew. Even if there's only one person behind the camera, like let's go with like Matt Pat's game theories. He has a team oh, of yeah, editors definitely. and 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 image image manipulators and script writers probably even. Or actually, maybe he writes his own scripts. I don't I'm not sure, but he has a, you got a big team of people making these videos, and you also have legit ad breaks in the middle of the of the video, like a TV like a, like the old TV channels did. It, yeah, it's basically like the same deal, but just it, the landscape has changed. That's really all there is. Yeah, and that's the thing as well. Though. A lot of kids want to do it. Like, for example, like I said, I work at school, and a lot of children say, oh, I want to do YouTuber, be a YouTuber. And, like, I've worked with a teacher. She's, like, 50, 60, uh, like, her late 50s. Um, and she was, and she's there, like, well, not having YouTube, that's not an aspiration. That's not an actual, um, a realistic <laughs> career path, that sort of thing. And I, I sort of get it. I, I'm, I can see both sides of it because, like, obviously, I do YouTube, but I'm never gonna be. It's never gonna be a job. Um, I just do it on the side for fun. Yeah. Because I've been. I did YouTube when I was six. I started YouTube when I was 16. Um, wait, 2010. No, I was 15. Um, and like, I did it just for fun because I sort of saw the. It was. It's a hobby. It always has been a hobby for me. Like, and if I was in a very fortunate position where I'd be paid for it, then. I'd be oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. But like, if I was in a position where I was able to get paid for it, then I'd be like, awesome. But um, I I sort of get both sides. It's a, it's a nice, it's a cool aspiration to have, and you know, in a way, it's a dream job for some people. Cause like, it's like you're just playing games for a living, for depending on your sort of on your um, yeah. Like if that's the path you choose to do or whatever. Some people do sports stuff for a living. I I I I'm subscribed because I like I do a lot. I um, I watch a lot of football, um, proper football, <laughs> um, a lot of sports yeah. and um, that sort of thing. And I'm sort of and I I I know lots of people that almost they're like sportscasters now. They're like we're sort of modern sportscasters. Like we we you know we sort of can yeah. share the views of what people on Twitter would be like. You know, because I, I was like, oh, we're going to take the place of, you know, like, so uh, Sky Sports, or I guess like Fox Sports in America, you know, you've got like Fox Sports and you've got NBC, don't you? Like networks like that. And it's like, oh, we're, we're, yeah. we're the modern version of that. We're the YouTube version, you know, like we are, we can reflect what people at home are thinking, that sort of thing. And that's the thing about YouTube. It's sort of, but I think there's a lot of luck involved in it too. Like there's a lot of determination. Um, there's a lot of motivation. You've got you've got to really dedicate a lot of time to doing it. But at the same time, it's I I say I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. <laughs> but like there's a lot. Yeah, of, no, you're. There's a lot of time and shit. But it, it. Yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing is that a lot of a lot of fields that were once like only like for professional TV <laughs> networks. Can now just be done by some dude who bought a camera. Like, yeah. Like um, think like think like game reviewers. That used to be like just, oh here's the people that get paid to do it, and they post it in these they post it in these magazines that get mailed to your doorstep every month. Now it's like I I haven't actually watched a professional game review in years because oh, I right. just have these other these individual people on YouTube that I watch because I like them better. Yeah, exactly. Because you can just buy a capture card, buy a computer with good enough software to run it, buy some editing software, buy a good microphone, and like you're good. It's like a minor investment, but in, but an individual guy can do that now. And like even back and, in the, back in the day. Oh, sorry, I let you finish. Oh, I'm gonna let you finish. Just same with like um, I was thinking interviews also. Like that was something where it's like you need to go go to like to like to like this to like this show and watch this this exclusive interview with this celebrity for like whatever. Or you can oftentimes just find some dude online, like freaking like the Joe Rogan podcast. He, he yes. gets like Elon Musk and Robert Downey Jr. and freaking all these yeah. celebrities. But it's just some dude on YouTube. It's a sim. If, if you, you know, yeah. 
uh, it's the same as this English guy called the True Geordie. And as much as I don't want to advertise people from Newcastle, because that's what a Geordie is, someone from Newcastle. <laughs> and like, it, it, and and they're like my Newcastle, are basically the rival place of where I'm from. But like, actually, he's oh, okay. he's he's similar um, to Joe Rogan in the sense that he does podcasts and he interviews celebrities, and it's like. And it seems more down to earth as well. Like, and but basically, the thing about YouTube is, it's very well. I'm not going to say YouTube anymore, but like a lot of people on there are unfiltered. You know, like they're real down to earth people, and it's that sort of thing. Yeah. Also, I feel I need to just keep this going and then jump over here. Oh shit! I fucked yep, it. Correct. Ah, dying. So yeah, but with with oh, oh, yeah. we're also playing a game as well. But no, as again, it's cool to sort of talk about other things whilst I'm trying to do this. But like, oh, yeah. like honest, with, honest with, to God, like my ho my Holland I played through has just evolved into me just chatting about whatever the hell is happening and like I fucked up. the gameplay is irrelevant because there's, no there's nothing to say. Yeah. Uh, drink. So what were you saying? No, like, I, I, think, like... I think I've even said recently that at this point I've told my friend that like you don't even need to watch my Hollow Knight videos. You can just listen to them in the background because like I don't talk about the game anymore. But sorry, go on. <laughs> but like, um. Oh, that goes over there. Right. So I need to think about how to get yes. up there then. Oh, anyway, I've got a locked. I've got a locked. I've got a key anywhere. I don't. Wanna, I'm not. I don't want to die anymore because that would suck. Not that dying is an op is a is a viable option anyway, but it's a possibility now. Yeah. At least open the chest first, yeah. Because you passed the chest already. Yeah, yeah. I have to go back. Is there you actually? No, just like drop down right here. It's in this room, I think. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't know. Like, like just drop, drop down. Like, no. Like, go, 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 go back to the first room you were just in. I try. I'll, I'll come back to it in a sec. I'm gonna get a okay. dragon anyway, and I'll save. But like, going back yeah, to that, of... like, you could. It's sort of as as if. Um, like you, it just it can just be an everyday person as well. Cause like you were talking about interviewers and such, or like like a Joe Rogan. Like there are people, yeah. you know, that may not necessarily have a degree or anything, or uh, or or they may be working towards a degree. And actually, YouTube is a sort of a way that um, it's sort of it's like oh wow, and and well, I'm working towards you know a journalism degree or whatever, and I can now. So on my YouTube channel, I'm now going to work on um, interviewing people, that sort of thing. Some people sort of do it um, to get experience now. Which I don't know if you've, I, if you've noticed that, or, or, you've, or you've seen people like that, but some people sort of use it to get experience, you know, and it's actually, it can be a sort of a viable, um, a certain to put in your CV, you know, because like, I've got experience, I've interviewed these people, how do you do that? Well, I did it on YouTube, but still. Yeah. Still experience. And yet, and yet now, like, YouTube isn't just, like, just, oh, like, oh, that's not a real job, because it is now. Yeah, exactly. Same with, like, I was thinking the other day how it's, like, I've heard, I've heard people, like, always throw around, like, oh, just, she's an Instagram model, or, like, yeah, they gotta throw that word in front of it, like, oh, yeah, just the Instagram thing. Or only but I'm fans. like, no, like, they, no, no, but, like, like, <laughs> like, stuff like that, though, it's like, no, like, they actually, self -employed. They, they, they get paid, they, they have, they have a much, much bigger audience than, like, professional magazines and stuff. No, that's, this like, if it almost feels like it's um used in a condescending way, like an Instagram model, or, or or oh he's a YouTuber. No, it's it's a legit job if you know what you're doing. Exactly, it's like if it's frowned upon, or yeah, like if it's yeah, it's like we look down on you because you work for YouTube. I'm like, well, actually no, these people have actually made a lot of themselves. And what you tend to find is, you know, like there are celebrities, you know, like you know, you can be fans of, you know, you yeah, can like, you can like an actor, you can like a musician, but you know for sure. That you never have any form of contact with them, I, I, like you may, like there's a chance you won't. Whereas um, there's a lot of sort of like with with um, people on the internet, it's almost as if they're very relatable. It's like, oh wow, well, this guy actually, and you can almost communicate with them somewhat indirectly, but somewhat directly by leaving a comment or by by leave or by going or even com communicate with them on Twitter, that sort of thing. But it's like, as if say, wow, like, I feel like they're so much more relatable. 
and and you see so many YouTubers or so many people on Twitch or whatever, and they are tend to be so humble because they're like, I was just a normal person, and all of a sudden people start liking my stuff, and like genuinely a lot of them are like that. They're like, I didn't expect to get this to be this popular. I don't I don't know why, but I I'm so grateful people love my stuff and that sort of thing. And I, I think it's quite cool that that's happened, and that's the platform YouTube provided. Like whatever people think about it, it's that's true. But yeah, so I think I think that like, you know, the the, the more like long lasting professions, like like if you're if you're a musician or an actor or whatever the case may be, for the longest time, like that was something you could only do like by like signing deals with like with like companies, like oh he, like here's the production company you're working for and telling you what to do, here's the music label that that's telling you what to do, and you have a bunch of people and a bunch of money behind you, and when you when you have oh you gotta open the chest still. Yeah, I know. With the key. Yeah. But when you have like a whole team of people behind you, I guess it never really cl it never really clicks that like you. Well, you didn't start from you didn't start by yourself. You started out with like an investment. Like, okay, let's put all this money forward and see if I can make something. See if this team can make something with me. Whereas if you're a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, it, it oftentimes is legitimately just like you doing this for fun. And then yeah, because of that, if you actually become something, it's like really, really humbling. And that's something that just couldn't exist in like previous generations at all. Nice, hundred um, percent. I can just imagine someone's going. So it's like, hey, mom, it's like I've got my university degree. Great, you can go to you. It's like, great, you can get a job now. No, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. No, you've let everyone down. How could you? How could you do this? And how are you gonna put food on the table? What? Are you? <laughs> and it's like, no, mom, you're so silly. We're just, oh god. Right, I need to go to the next world, which is... Haunted Tower. Yep, the Haunted Tower. It's all the way over the fuck here. Stop making people yep, big! for some reason. For fuck's sake! Yeah, every time you... Well, th those guys, they're, they'll go on a cycle. Those three in a row. So it's actually smarter to just wait for them to shrink again and then just charge through them all. Ah, uh, Haunted Tower. This is one of those levels where it's like, I'm not expecting it to be hard for you, but it was by far the hardest level for me. <laughs> well, not hardest. There was like one single secret I can never find. I think I've said this a million times, but I still have never fucking forgotten. Cool. Well, I, who knows? We'll see how this goes. Haunted. Indeed we will. Fuck you. Haunted tower. And as far as that one secret, as far as that one secret goes, I'm not going to say a damn thing. Unless you ask. Ask and thou shalt receive. There we go. Let's go. Haunted. Haunted Woods. <laughs> Feels like something of a Deacon Racing. Haunted Towers. <laughs> 